going to start with Bishop Carol Johnson, who is the Bishop of the Life Vision Church in Orlando, Florida. Hey, let's vote no on one. Yeah. Do you know that the sun today puts out enough energy in the United States to power everything in this country for the next year and a half? And in this election, Amendment 1 is an attempt by the big utility companies to take control of the power of the sun in Florida for the foreseeable future. We can't allow that to happen. And that's why we're voting no on Amendment 1. The other thing that really angers me about it is that they have framed the argument as a means of protecting the low income and the poor people, elderly people in Florida from subsidizing uh, solar for wealthier folks. Now, I've grown up in, in a lot of urban areas, and I can tell you that most people struggle in low-income neighborhoods to keep the lights on every month. And oftentimes, they lose. And uh, I can tell you that the utility companies don't give a darn about the fact that there may be a, a sick child or an elderly person in there in the dark. Many people have lost their lives, lost their, 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 their homes by trying to power themselves with candles. So it's a big red flag when the utility companies say that they're going to put $20 million together to teach us that they care a lot for us. I'm not buying it. I don't think any of you all are either. Uh, so, so what I'd like to see, if they could put $20 million together in a fund to campaign uh, for their interest in solar, I like to see them take that $20 million and put it in a fund for low-income people and elderly people to subsidize solar for them. How about that? And if you could spend $20 million, how about uh, putting together a fund for community solar in our neighborhood so that people that rent and people that, that, that don't have the ability to afford solar can do so as well. But that's for November 9th. But for November 